Hey guys, JC here. I'm going to go over a quick little optimization that you can make in your NVIDIA control panel if you are an NVIDIA graphics user. This is for Resident Evil 4 Ultimate HD for Steam. These few changes have helped me save a few frames in particular areas in which I have slowdowns. Like after door loads in the dark farm area, the 4-1 dragon room, etc. This will not solve all of your issues, but it will help out with some of those slowdowns to help retain some of your FPS. It's really easy to do, so let's get into it. Anywhere from your desktop, you can right click and you'll see NVIDIA control panel. Click that. It'll open this screen. Make sure you're in the manage 3D settings and make sure you're on program settings. Here you can drop down and select Resident Evil 4 or you can add it and find it that way. So let's start here at the top. Anisotropic filtering, turn that off. Anti-aliasing FXAA, off. Gamma correction, off. Mode, application control. Transparency, off. CUDA GPUs, if you're using more than one GPU, use all of your GPUs. Maximum pre-rendered frames, one. This is gonna help with response time. Multi-framed sampled AA, off. OpenGL rendering GPU. If you're using more than one GPU, select your main GPU. I'm using a GTX 950, so I selected GTX 950. Optimize for compute performance. Uh, just leave that default. Power management mode, prefer maximum performance. Shader cache, you want that on. Texture filtering, anisotropic sample, on. Negative LOD bias, allow. Quality, high performance. Trilinear optimization, off. Threaded optimization, on. Triple buffering, off and vertical sync definitely off. These minor optimizations will help you save a few frames in those areas that you may have some slowdowns. Um, so give them a try and uh, see what happens. Anyway, uh, thanks for hanging out and I'll see you guys later.